I think we'll be doing that anyway, so we don't have to worry about it. As will we. So the Liberty is essentially uh, uh, a monument to the Entente, isn't it? I mean, it's a monument to the French. Yes, it was was originally a symbol of the friendship between France and the United States. Right. But today, for me, it's it's so much more. It's a universal symbol of liberty for everybody, not but, just the United but it's States. But it's not something that the British have ever really been heavily involved in the Statue of Liberty or... No, but you want, we have a lot of British citizens that come over here, and when you see the look on their faces when they see liberty, it's it's for them too. Okay, that's good to know. We don't, <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't want to be sort of... You, we don't, be, you feel excluded? No, I just, I just no, worried. No, I just, away I don't, that, you know, when it, was, when it was put up, there was more of a feeling that the French and the Americans were the, were the, were the, well, were the, we, were the liberty people we had and the British gotten, were the old-fashioned... Yeah, we had uh, you know. just gotten over kind of a skirmish with you guys. From this side, I'm, I'm still feeling a simmering tension here. Uh, <laughs> well, we, do, we, you know, we don't want to crash the party. <laughs> we don't want to crash anybody's party. <laughs> On the contrary, we are delighted to have you. It's a great honour, as I said at the beginning. So now we have to behave in that for sure. Thank you very much, David. Thank you. Great My talking pleasure. to you. See you tomorrow. Nice meeting you Thank both. You. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. The statue is meant to represent Libertas, the Roman goddess of freedom. She gets about three and a half million visitors a year, and now, finally, us. That's the one. Good. Gotta say, the old uh, Manhattan skyline looks pretty iconic. Even in this grim weather. And it is very grim out here. It's very cold, it's blowing. In fact, it's quite possible that my boat won't have made it at all. And the morning brings bad news. Hello. Never mind Rory's vessel. My spirit yacht had failed to make it to New York because of the storm. Thanks. Okay, great. I'm boatless. Okay, bye. Uh. How fantastic is this? God has given a gift to the people of New York. A beautiful sunny day. It is absolutely, and that spectacular world famous skyline looks even better today. And the good news is, the weather people say the temperatures could get as high as zero today. What a beautiful crisp morning in New York, and this is my boat, the John J. Harvey, one of New York's first non-steam fire tenders. Commissioned in the early 1930s, it started service then and carried on working until 1994. Those things up there work. This is why we're going to win, because those things work. And when the, when the rest of them just got brrrr, we got brrrr plus splash. It's going to be fantastic. Hey, the Nantucket lightship made it all the way from Newport, Rhode Island, and I'm over the moon because this is still by far the best ship I've ever, ever been on. Do things get better than this? Yes, they do. I've got a bit of a problem. No, it's no, it's not a breakdown. No, no. In fact, I, in fact, I haven't got a boat. But I was just wondering whether I could, uh, whether I could use your services. Empire State Building. Empire State Building. We're looking for Rory's boat, by the way, and there's there's every chance because it's got a giant flag that they may be coming along here. So if we spot a Rory, is there a Rory on Hayward? No, nope, there is not a Rory on Hayward. From the outside, the Nantucket looks like a working light ship, but inside, owner Bill has fitted it out like a luxury apartment. And luckily for me, he's a fan of the New York Jets. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the boat rocks. Yeah. How are the Jets doing? Trust towboats US. They offer a 24-hour emergency boat breakdown service. I'll step straight aboard. That's fantastic. And this is an emergency. 
I may be tiny, but at least I'm bright red. Is it that? Is it that? Gelberman? It can't be. Rory! I don't know why I'm presuming that Rory would be in a tug. It just feels like physically that would be a good fit for him, you know, just pushing things around. This is a bit too pretty for Rory even. This is lovely. We're going to be the smallest boat in the flotilla by a million miles. Is there a Rory on Nantucket? You keep those cards to yourself and you'll get another up card and another down card. So you bet. So you can bet or check. Greetings. Do you have a Rory McGrath? What do you think of my boat? You, when you come aboard, you're going to be knocked out by this boat. Why, are there a lot of low-flying booms and stuff? It's luxury, mate. It's luxury. I'm not, I'm not a man for luxury. I'm a man for function. Wait till you see what this boat can do. Wait till you see what I've got on board this boat. Hang on. OK, girls, come on out. You are kidding me. I want to meet my friends. Oh, <laughs> this is Kimberly and Jessica. <laughs> Hello, ladies. How are you? We're well, thank you. <laughs> oh, Rory, you came with your nieces. How sweet. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to go down and finish our poker game and our beer, Dara. OK, see you later. Over. Come on, girls, inside. I got to the Roy McGrath Student Outreach Programme is still working. That was excellent, girls. Trust Roy to take something beautiful and significant and special, like the 125th anniversary of the Statue of Liberty, and make it tacky and cheap, but in an all-American kind of a way. Clever. Very clever. The flotilla is lumbering off. There's a strict speed limit along the river for the parade, with plenty of police boats to enforce it. But I should think my little boat could sneak past them. If you can catch them up, that'd be good. Now, you got called into service, or you volunteered yourself back into service uh, on 9-11, didn't you? We, uh, we sort of volunteered ourselves, and one of our uh, owners, Chase Wells, called up the fire department and said, you know, we have one of your boats. Could you use it? Would you like it back? Yeah. And they said, oh, our two fire boats are pumping full. Would you come tie up and pump water? Because all the fire mains, so all the um, fire hydrants had been destroyed. The water mains yeah. were destroyed when the towers collapsed. So literally, the only water at the site, the World Trade Center, were two New York City fire boats, one built in 1938, one built in 1954, and then supplemented by, by us. ourselves. Yeah. Right. We were acting as big fire hydrants, which is what these boats were largely built to do. In other yeah. words, we would we would pump to a fire engine, which would pump to another fire engine and relay it in. This boat can pump the equivalent of about 22 fire engines worth of water. Wow. And, and how long were you there? We were there for four days, from the 11th. We'll go between the two of them. Dara! Oh, my God! What is that? That's your boat! How is that your boat? That's ridiculous, Griff! It's tiny! No, I like my boat. I like my boat a lot. It's faster than the other boat. It is my profound hope that that is not Griff's boat for the day. Because if that's the best he could do, he's going to make us all look bad. Also, I have to say, it's a very cold day. Well, it's very beautiful, it's a very cold day, so really my heart goes out to the cheerleaders. They're who I'm mainly thinking about at the moment. What? What is that? My boat didn't turn up. It's an insult to the people of New York. What are you doing? Hey, Griff, what do you think of that Nantucket lightship? Well... Do you want to meet my crew? Hey, crew. <laughs> Three of you this side. <laughs> Come on, girls. Hey, how do you like this? <laughs> do them your cheer. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to win the prize. I hope. Never mind, the, uh, never mind what, the, what the Commodore says. I mean, you've already won it. Since we all had a boat of sorts, we'd asked the head of the New York Coast Guard to judge our efforts, Commander Gary Messmer. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here, sir. Looks like you found yourself quite a boat to we show up on. a fantastic boat. Wait till we kick in the fire hoses, my friend. There you go. That's the show. She's got quite a bit of fire monitor on her. Yeah, she's a fine old thing. She's been working for 80 years down there.